Hey guys and welcome to the very first This Would Work video blog. So if you've been sent over from the main channel you'll know that this is just going to be a blog about sort of various things going on in the workshop and with the rest of my life I guess. So general things like what I'm getting up to in the workshop and other things about my life and why the videos are taking so long to turn up. So if I need to update you about college or something I can let you know here and you'll know why it's been five weeks or something ridiculous since the last video. But at least I'll be able to show you random things that I'll be doing in the workshop and I try and keep in the workshop but generally they're not main channel video material so I might be doing a bit of tinkering but I won't be able to show you that on the main channel but here I can obviously show you that if you're interested so get subscribed to this channel and that way you'll know when there's a new thing or what the next video is going to be coming and what I'm going to be doing there okay so first off I thought I'd just show you a little bit of footage that I took um, back in early July this was so it's quite a while ago now but hopefully you enjoy that and so it is in fact the day of the Hook Junior School Fair and summer fair in fact and believe it or not it is raining once again yes just about every year it does in fact rain so whether that's just a coincidence or not there's something about the British weather people make fun of it all the time but I'm sitting out here under an umbrella standing out here in fact and believe it or not if you take a look down here this is the hose pipe you're thinking why on earth is he showing us his hose pipe but yes we can't in fact use this we are currently in a state of drought well we're in a state of drought it's been raining for the last three four weeks but we are actually at a stage where we can't use our hose pipe which is just ridiculous um, looking at the weather out here so yes there is something very wrong with the British weather <laughs> In fact, there's actually been floods in other parts of England, so we are probably pretty lucky. We're actually on top of a hill anyway, so if it was to get bad, which it doesn't usually around here, we're, we, we should be fine. But yes, it is just ridiculous how the weather can be sometimes. There's British weather for you. So I've just come outside quickly, ready for the Chinooks to take off from the Hook Junior School Fair, uh, which the school is just across the fence, where you see that line of trees, the school is just there. So it made, when back when I did go to that school many years ago now, it was very easy getting there. I could run at nine o'clock, run up the hill and go to school, being on time. So that was always quite convenient. So yes, the Chinooks usually come to the school fair most years and it's quite a cool sight watching them fly over so we'll see that in a second but because the UK Chinook base is so close it's only about four miles or so down the road so it's pretty near and they can just come to the school as they do pretty often so we'll get a good look at them in a minute.
as I thought they might be there in terms of wind and everything. But... Mm. It does more when it lands, I guess. I'm sure all you avid watchers, that's all of you I hope, <laughs> will know that I turned 17 in late June, which of course means in England it's the driving age, and like any normal 17 year old guy, and I know what you're saying, but Alex, you're not a normal 17 year old guy, you're a woodworker. That being said, like any normal guy, since before I could remember I did want to drive, and obviously I started driving as soon as I could and now I've racked up a, mm, about 30 or so hours behind the wheel. So yes, I've done quite a bit of driving now and pretty soon I'm hoping to do my test so I'll let you know how that goes when it does happen. Um, yeah, as for the driving, I, I feel quite comfortable behind the wheel now and obviously unlike in America there are three pedals, not just two, which makes things a little bit more tricky when I started out. Trust me, I had a fair few stools and I did even, even in fact tweet about it if you follow me on Twitter. So that is pretty much behind me, I hope now. Obviously, no one ever stops stalling completely. Even my friends who have passed now still do, but that is always a joy for the future. But I'll let you know how I get on with that in future video blogs and hopefully that all goes well and I get past pretty soon fingers crossed <laughs> but um, that's about it for this video blog I hope to have a bit more woodworking related stuff in future or coming video blogs um, I'm the next project I'm working on in fact is a table saw stand so I need to have a proper sort of stand for my bench saw at the moment well just contractors saw as I think they yeah, contractor saw in in the US, and I need a bit more of a sturdy stand for that. Something with a bit better dust extraction, and that will also house my router table, and so that I can have the same surface for the two machines. This doesn't need to take up all this space on the workmate just sitting here right now. So hopefully that will be the next video, and I can show you what I come up with for that and then you can maybe think of because a lot of people start out particularly with these not particularly good contractor saws and they could um, well for me I'm trying to make it work to my advantage I certainly don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on a new saw so I'm gonna make it work for now at least so see you again soon guys bye bye